morning YouTube and happy April! See? Proof! It's April! Woo! Okay, so I'm filming this video really last minute because I want to do my March wrap up on the 1st of April. I want it to go up today, so let's get stuck in! Okay, so I didn't actually read as much this month as I'd hoped to read, so I am going to be combining this video with my April TBR because otherwise I feel like it would just be a one minute video on what I read in March and that's just pointless! So, I read three books in the month of March. Sadly, I couldn't read as much as I wanted because I had a lot of university deadlines and then a lot of stuff going on with work, but I still did really enjoy all the books that I read this month. First up is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I finally joined the Lunar Chronicles revolution and oh my word, I, I don't know why I didn't pick this up earlier. I loved it so much. It follows Cinder, a half-human, half-cyborg, through the sort of typical tropes of Cinderella but just made more awesome by the fantasy aspects of it. So you've got Cinder trying to go to the ball to meet the prince and just all this typical cinderella -y stuff with her stepsisters and the stepmother, the evil stepmother. So there are the Lunars who are sort of beings from the moon and there is a disease ravaging Earth which the Lunars may or may not hold a key to sort of destroying for good and there is just so much chaos in such an amazing book and I really really loved it. I really love the... I, oh, I read it so long ago now that I can't remember her name but Cinder's sort of best friend robot, I loved her. She was just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I hope she is in the other books more. I know that each book seems to follow a different character in the same world of the Lunars, but I want Cinder, I want more Cinder, so I really, really hope that she does turn up more. So yes, I really enjoyed this book. I'm pretty sure I gave it a five out of five stars because who wouldn't give the Lunar Chronicles five out of five? Now I need to pick up the other books. So next up I read Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. You'll have heard me talk about this in various books or books? In various videos already, not various books. And yeah, I really enjoyed this book. It follows a girl who is a sharpshooter in a sort of barren, dusty wasteland kind of place as she tries to escape from sort of where she's brought up, where she lives, into the hopes of a better, a better life for herself somewhere else. So you have a really interesting group of characters in this. You have, you have a mysterious foreigner who comes along. It's a book full of magic and genies and just stuff that I'd never sort of read anything about. Like I'd never really read much about sharpshooters or books involving guns full stop quite honestly and the whole genie aspect of it I don't think I've seen represented in many YA books so it was definitely a spontaneous pick picking up of the book and a spontaneous read but it was really really good and again another five stars so yes I highly recommend this one also it's a debut novel and it's such a strong novel that I find it hard to believe that she's not written anything before so yeah definitely go pick this one up last but not least yesterday I finally finished New World Rising by Jennifer Wilson now this book was so good it's really annoying because I started reading it at the start of the month got about halfway through and then at the end of the month yesterday picked it up to finish the other half now that I finally had some free time and oh my word it was so good literally the last like 100 pages of this book are just a whirlwind of emotions and Jennifer you know how to hit me right in the feels I need the sequel I need it now can it be released please because I just I need to know what happens next like this cliffhanger I love cliffhangers but I hate them so yes this is a dystopian novel where Phoenix is in the world of Tartarus which is run by five different different tribes whose motto is join or die. It's dramatic, it's fast paced, it's really really good. I'm actually going to film a short video on this after, hence the little tabs for my notes. Look at me being a prepared booktuber. But yes, so I'm going to film a three minute Thursday kind of thing on this one so you can expect to see that on Thursday where I will go more in depth with it so I'm not going to go into it too much now but just know that I loved it and you should all read it. Plus the cover reveal is actually today. I, I think as I'm filming this, the cover release for her sequel is actually going live, so I'm definitely gonna have to go check that one out. Okay, so that was everything that I read in March, and now I'm gonna be moving on to my April TBR, because like I said, I don't feel that I read enough in March to warrant making just a March wrap-up video, so here goes my April TBR. 
So first up on my April TBR is Geek Girl by Holly Smale. I'm actually planning on meeting her tomorrow at the Brighton Wardstones event. So I'm really, really excited for that, but I really need to get my skates on and kind of work my way through more of her series because I've been slacking and I wanted to try and read them all before I met her. But yes, I have book one and two that I'm hoping to get read by tomorrow. Fingers crossed. <laughs> So yes, I think this is like a, just a nice fun contemporary about a girl who is quite a nerdy girl at school and is discovered and thrown into the world of modelling. I know the second one that I have that I'm planning on reading is her being thrown into Japan and the whole modelling scene there. So I'm excited to read these and just work my way through. So I'm not going to talk about it too much because I'll probably make a video on it in the future. So you can look forward to that. The next book that I'm hoping to read in the month of April is Matched by Ali Condi. Now I've heard some kind of mixed things about this since I put it up. Some people have loved it, some people have not so much. I also watched like a video the other day and John Green was recommending it. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, I've been really looking forward to reading this. I saw it a few years ago when it came out and I remember thinking, oh, that book looks really good. And I don't know why I didn't pick it up. But I have now, so it follows a girl who is just coming up to her birthday when on your birthday everything in your life is kind of dictated out for you, the guy you're meant to be with, the society you're meant to be in, your job, your role, all of that jazz, and I think that this is a trilogy, the first in a trilogy. Hopefully I will like it enough so that I go out and buy the other two in the trilogy really soon and start completing some of the series that I own, because I just keep starting all of these series and I really, really should start finishing them. The next book that I want to read this month is The Awakened by Sarah Santana. Now, I've been steadily working my way through the Oft Holmes books, and this one is next on my list. I've not really read too much about zombies in the past, but this has been compared to The Walking Dead and The Fifth Wave, and it has sort of vampire-like zombie-type things, The Awakened. So it follows a girl who, along with her dad and her really annoying neighbour, has to kind of flee the city when The Awakened start taking over. And the government decides that the best course of action is, of course, to bomb all the major cities. So I'm really looking forward to following Zoe on her travels as she tries to get the hell out of there and not get attacked by The Awakened because nobody wants that. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Also, it's a really, really long book and the first in a series and a novella was just announced so I need to read this so that I can get the novella and read that and then be prepared for book two. Again, another series. I'm just starting all the series. The next book that I want to read this month is Marisi by... I don't want to say her name and butcher it, so that... Yeah. I'll put the books in the description if you guys want to check them out, but yeah, I'm not even going to attempt to say her name because I know that it's not going to go too well. I've tried saying it off camera and I was just like, no, no, this isn't going to happen. I was given this at the Gabriel and the Swallows launch and I've not heard anything about it, but two booktubers that I love have blurbed it on the back and like on an inside cover you've got Ben and Lucy and I remember on my video the other day with my book haul Lucy commented saying that this one is really good so I'm going to read it plus it's really short so I feel like it will be a very very quick read I still don't really have any particular idea what it's about but I'm looking forward to it nonetheless Last but not least, I really, really want to try and read The Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas. I've read the first three in the series and I've had this one ever since finishing the third and I think it's been like a good month or two, I'm not 100% sure how long, but it's been too long. I need to read this. It's been sat on my shelf staring at me like, why haven't you read me yet, Zena? So I'm going to try and rectify that this month. So, yes you. I need to read you. So yes, I really want to try and read a bit more than what's on my TBR, but I will definitely try to work my way through it. Let me know in the comments what's on your TBR for April or what books you read in March. I'd love to hear and I will be back soon with another video. So I will see you next time. Bye!